Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. In this video, I'll tell you everything about this website called promptbase.com. This will be a beginner's tutorial. If you want to get to a specific chapter of the tutorial, you can find the timestamps mentioned in the description below. All right, let's get started. So what is PromptBase? PromptBase is a marketplace for buying and selling prompts. For example, if you have been using tools like uh, ChatGPT or Midjourney or Stable Diffusion and you have gotten pretty good at creating your own prompts and you have been using uh, your own prompts for different projects, you can actually come to PromptBase and sell some of your prompts and make money out of it. On the other hand, if you don't have the time to play around and create different prompts for your project, you can find a prompt according to your needs and just use it directly. Let me give a small overview of the website structure. Make sure you're already on this marketplace, which is promptbase.com slash marketplace. When you are there, you can sort based on different categories. For example, you can find the prompts which are most trending right now. You can clear the filters using this button right here. And you can also find the prompts which have been most popular till now. As of right now, PromptBase supports prompts from DALI, Midjourney, GPT-3, PromptBase, and Stable Diffusion. So if you filter by Midjourney, you'll find all the prompts which are specific to the Midjourney software. The next section is the categories. So there's a bunch of different categories that you can choose from based on your own project. For instance, if you are a real estate agent and if you want to use to come up with different kinds of architecture ideas, then you can use a prompt like this one, low poly buildings. Or if you have a print on demand business with something like pixel art, then you can use prompts from here to design shirts using 8-bit pixel characters like this. Next up, let's look at a product detail page. So this one is a prompt about awesome futuristic street bikes. The information you're gonna get here is how long the prompt is. For example, this specific prompt has around 41 words. That means it can be pretty detailed. So it's not a simple prompt that has been used by someone beginner. This section tells us how many views this prompt has had. So this prompt was released just 57 minutes ago. So it has eight views and two likes on it. They mentioned that you must already have access to Midjourney to use this prompt. So Midjourney's free version, I think, allows only 25 images. So if you want to create a lot of images, you might need to get a subscription. Let's look at another one which was released five months ago. So this one has 13.9K views and 11 likes. And it is 27 words and has been tested for DALI 2. This one is called LinkedIn Post Generator. So you can use this prompt on ChatGPT to create LinkedIn posts, which you can use for your own feed. This prompt will help you generate in seconds an engaging LinkedIn post on any subject. You'll have the option to customize the subject and the title. It also mentions the engine it uses, how many credits it might cost you, and also some example outputs. The next section I want to talk about is this generate page. So if you want to try to sell your own prompts, this is a good place for you to try them out and see how the results show up. By default, they give you five credits to use and you can use this button to buy additional credits. 100 credits cost 10 bucks. Let's try this prompt. Harry Potter wearing cowboy boots and a striped tie playing ping pong with an elf in the train station. So as soon as you try out a prompt in this section, it gives you the option to sell the prompt directly. I personally think that this final image is not there yet. I think it needs a bit more cleanup, so I don't think this is worth selling. But if you have your own prompts that you have tried in Midjourney or DALI 2 or some other software, you can try it out here and you can use this option to create your own sale. As you might have seen that prompt engineering itself is becoming a new career path. So if you have written a lot of prompts and you think you're good at writing prompts and you can help other businesses out, out with it, you can market yourself as a prompt engineer on this website. To become an official prompt engineer, you need to have at least five sales on the marketplace and then you can start accepting jobs as a prompt engineer similar to Upwork or any other freelancing website. And if you're a business owner who wants custom prompts created for you, you can hire an engineer right here from this website. They're divided into different sections. So there are DALI prompt engineers, Midjourney prompt engineers, Stable Diffusion, GPT-3, all of these different categories have their own specific 
subject matter experts. You have been playing around with different kinds of prompts. I think it might make sense for you to list some of your prompts here and qualify yourself as a prompt engineer. The last section I wanted to talk about is the cell page. You can access it using this button called cell. You get to promptbase.com slash cell. Here you provide all the details about the prompt you want to sell. You can sell in the categories of GPT-3, DALI, Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and Prompt Base. So you provide a name, a description. Ideally, you should have your prompt tested out already and perfected. You can provide a range of prices which can range from $199 to $999. I think for a more advanced prompt, they might bring up a section where you can charge more. But generally, these are the ranges which have been proven to sell and i personally don't have a prompt ready because i think i want to perfect my own prompts a bit better before i start selling actively and i think i'll make a new video after i get some experience as a seller on prompt base if you personally buy any prompts you can use this chat section to talk to the prompt engineer directly i think overall this website has a lot of potential to me, it seems like the early stages of something like Upwork or Fiverr, which really took off. If you're watching this video, I highly recommend you to sign up and play around and submit a few of your own prompts and see if you can make some sales. Worst case, your prompts don't get accepted. Best case, you make some money on the side. If you're an active user of prompt base, whether that be a buyer or a seller, I would like to know about your experience. So please add a comment if you have used prompt base, whether it be buying or selling your own prompts. Uh, I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Till the next video, thank you so much.